one of the biggest crime series in the state, if not the country. Upwards of 50 rapes and 12 murders. While I was calling the police, he jumped through the window. Who is the East Area Rapist? Joseph D'Angelo is suspected of being one of California's most haunting killers with crimes that cross the state. Put a gun to my husband's head and said if I didn't tie him up and tie him up tightly, that he would kill him. The answer has always been in Sacramento. Time for our flashback where we look back at major moments in history that happened this week. It was on today's date, August 21st, one year ago, when the infamous Golden State Killer, Joseph James D'Angelo, finally was sentenced to life behind bars. He terrorized the state of California for decades, and finally, the families had a face to connect to who murdered and attacked their loved ones, a face of evil want to bring in criminologist Casey Jordan, friend of the show as well. Casey, I know you followed this case and covered it. The Golden State Killer finally sentenced during the trial. More than 45 victims and family members testifying. And this guy not only did these horrific things, we're talking murder, rape, he may have never been caught if it weren't for DNA technology and the genealogy that we know that connected the crimes to this guy. That's right. When I was analyzing this case for HLN's Very Scary People, I really noted, you know, that crime doesn't know what time it is and justice doesn't care. And like so many true crime aficionados, I was following this case and I had read I'll Be Gone in the Dark, you know, Michelle mm -hmm. McNamara's obsessive hunt for the Golden State Killer's identity. So when he was finally caught, I think more than a sense of relief, because that crime spree lasted 13 years, 13 murders, 50 rapes, 120 burglaries. I was just really elated that the crimes were solved and that the victims and their families could find some sense of closure. I'll be gone in the dark, really captivating. And as you mentioned, just the amount of files and how long this guy terrorized up and down the state of California, even named at one point the East Area Rapist, police thinking it was two different people. He was a former officer. He knew how to elude police. What I find the most disturbing, he didn't care who his victims were, meaning if kids were there, he would attack the kids as well, tie them up, and he liked to taunt the victims too, right, Casey? Yeah, I think that's what he's most well-known for, is the psychological torture in addition to the murders and the rapes. He would break in at night. He would blind his victims with a flashlight. And with the couples, he would tie them up, put the husband on the floor with a stack of dishes on his back, proceed to rape the wife. If the dishes crashed, if there was any sound from the husband, he said he would kill them all. And he did these crimes with children in the house. Then he would call the people later and terrorize them further on the phone. And he had close calls with the police. You know, he would pretend to surrender. They even shot at him. But it was almost unbelievable that... With all the clues and all the evidence, no one could identify or capture him. And finally, DNA did. A woman known as victim number five was able to testify. She said, little did I know there would be so many more countless victims after me tying up her and her son. Luckily, she survived and was able to face him in court. Casey Jordan, always appreciate your expertise. Thank you so much. Always great to be here. Thanks, Susan.